This is at least uh, Niku's explanation of what this piece of wood is. However, I was looking at it and I thought, hmm, maybe it can be something else. Hey guys, Christopher Norse Rain. In today's video, I have some news for you. It's a a, a recent uh, archaeological discovery in Norway. Now, this news actually dropped back in February, but I haven't been able to put together a video yet, so it's a bit behind schedule. But uh, I got some. Um, I actually went out and got some exclusive footage specifically for this video, so I thought it would still be. A good idea to put it together and put it out there for you guys. So, NIKU, which is uh, Norwegian Institute for Cultural Heritage Research, they have been digging like crazy in Oslo Medieval Park lately. Um, there's some railroad works uh, coming up and they have to ex excavate the area before that happens. They already have found quite a few artifacts, uh, several with runic inscriptions, and they have now made yet another discovery. So I thought Oslo Medieval Park, I have actually lived in Oslo for several years, and currently I don't live too far from Oslo, but I have in fact uh, never been to Oslo Medieval Park. So I thought well, this would be a good idea or a good opportunity to to go there and uh, check out the place. So I actually got in contact with uh, Niku and asked if I could meet them at the dig site. Unfortunately, they didn't have time to see me. I think they're just swamped with work and uh, getting the dig, the excavation done in time before the railroad guys roll in and start their end of the work. But uh, I went there anyway uh, to Oslo Medieval Park uh, and got to shoot some footage from outside the fence, at least. It wasn't really a lot of um, activity there that day. It was on a Sunday, so I'm guessing that uh, the archaeologists were having their day off. But uh, I still got some, some nice footage of the park. So... Oslo Medieval Park is one of the oldest areas in Oslo. Oslo was founded about year 1000, which is approximately the same time that Leif Eriksson discovered North America. So, a thousand years ago, the sea level would have been three to four meters higher than it is today. So, if you look at the map, you can see Oslo Medieval Park uh, it's situated close to the to the shore, but a thousand years ago, this area would have actually been the shore of old Oslo. So uh, that's also important uh, in the context for um, when you when you look at what you find in this area. So what did they find this time? Well, it's a little piece of wood, and it has a runic inscription on it. And it looks like this time it's the full actual um, inscription is intact. It's not long, though. It's, it's very short, but it, uh, it's been translated, and it reads, Aspin Amik. So, Aspin, that is the name of... Uh, might be a abbreviation or a a version of Osbjorn. It constitutes of two words, os, which means um, Aesir or God, and Bjorn, which means bear. God bear, basically. And Osbjorn is a old Norse name. It's still in use today, actually. Um, good solid uh, Norse name right there. And Amik means owns me. So, Osbjorn owns me. So, what actually does Osbjorn own? 
Well, Niku, at least, they don't think it refers to the little piece of wood that Osbjorn owns, the, this piece of wood. But it was probably used as a tag on some goods or wares that Osbjorn was selling. Like I said, a um, thousand years ago, this area would have been right by the shore of old Oslo, and this would have been probably a trading place for for um, uh, you would have the boats coming in and out so goods would be um, available for sale in this area so probably Osbjorn was selling something and you haven't really found many of these tags in at least not in Oslo but in Bergen on the west coast you have found about a hundred of these so it's uh, it's not an uncommon thing um, to find in places where there had been trade. This is at least uh, Niku's explanation of what this piece of wood is. However, I was looking at it and I thought, hmm, maybe it can be something else. If you flip it upside down, to me at least, it resembles the head of an axe so i was thinking maybe this was actually a wooden toy axe that some kid named osbjorn owned and he was running around playing with it uh, until it broke or the shaft broke off it's not unthinkable i mean when i was young i had a lot of toy weapons like swords and guns and and even armor you know so it, uh, it wouldn't be unthinkable, although I'm probably Niku's explanation holds water here, I think. But, um, you know, I, I, I like to keep an open mind. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think, it's, uh, do you think it's a tag to sell goods or do you think it is something else like an axe or like a toy axe? Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, in case you have seen... <laughs> A little head picking up here <laughs> it's it's actually me it's uh this is the uh, this is the doom fruit uh design he made for uh my uh my channel and i got a t-shirt from my girlfriend on my birthday with this design very cool i was actually thinking of of um at some point uh making these available uh, to buy if you guys want to support the channel you can buy some of these t-shirts but i don't think that's going to happen quite yet this is also a just a like a test uh print uh, i really like the design i'm not super happy about this specific print though so it's still something i i uh, need to test out to find something that i really really like anyways that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one.